This is a school, um, Onamichi School, which is now one of our sister schools with Simcoe County. And these students um, in particular are the first group that has come over. And each year we will be having more students from the school come and pair up with students in Simcoe County and specifically here at Nottawasaga Pines. It's just a one-way um, cultural exchange and so it's a small time period for students to come over and experience some Canadian culture and also practice their English conversational speaking skills. This will be annually. so. Next fall, again, we will have a group of Japanese students who will come to us from the Onamichi School and will be here uh, again with host families within the community. As the students of Onamichi partake in origami, they also interact with the students of Nawasaga Pines. So he's the red leaf coordinator, All right. Japanese red leaf coordinator. All right. All right, so how do you think the red leaf program has affected the students here, um, both the Japan students and even the Canadian students? Okay, uh, we red leaf bring uh, students from Japan to here, and they're, they're most of the students been to Canada for the first time, and of course they stay with uh, your students or the host families here, experience Canadian culture and life and it has a big impact I mean that's something I mean they have never done and this is new to them and uh, they bring it back just the culture and uh, they'll just um, even in a classroom they'll start uh, learning about Canadian life in Canada at all so so like some of the uh, um, ones I were saying before is that the cosmetology classes and the tech classes are a lot more casual than some of the other classes are usually are in Japan right Right, so you guys have more variety of classes for the purpose, the students, uh, for the purpose of learning, you know, a, a, a various directions in career. But in Japan, mostly they just, academic-wise, they just study for the university, that's it. So it's a big difference here. All right, thank you for that. Right. I'm from Hiroshima, and... Um, well, they're all different, and I think everyone back there are uh, finding everything fresh, so yeah. cool. Um, do you enjoy the uh, Canadian culture, and do you like think it's very more like different, or how different do you think it is compared to like the... Uh, um, well, in Japan, we don't have any Aborigines or anything, so yeah, it was a good experience for us. How long have you been able to fluently speak English? Was it affected back from where you came from, or did just suddenly start learning it now? Well, I lived in Australia for a few years, so really. yeah. Have you learned anything interesting around here uh, about the culture, different social uh, interactions, anything like that? Um, well, what I found most interesting when I came here is um, there's a cosmetology class, right? Yeah, that was really cool. Oh yeah, you guys got your uh, nails done and whatnot. <laughs> Um, also, I heard you guys went to a Niagara Falls the other day. Mm -hmm. How did you like that? Well, it was amazing, spectacular, except uh, we didn't get to go on the Made of the Mist. So, yeah, we just went up that tower. Well, I asked some of their students what's different about their school and our school, and they said they would never talk when their teacher is talking. And they said they would never bring their cell phone into the building. So it's a little bit different. Yeah, it's, it's a lot more academic and uh, a lot less casual than it normally is in here. They're not used to our um, arts courses. They don't have cosmetology and phys ed and art. That's not a course. That's just something they do for fun after school. Yeah, and also uh, all this is funded or... Um, brought by the uh, Red Leaf program. What do you think of the Red Leaf program? Do you think it's a good idea um, or what's your opinion on it? I think it's a great program because it's really interesting for our students to be able to interact with students from a different culture and learn what happens over there and they get to see what it's like in Canadian schools. Mm. And how do you think this is going to affect either the Nawasaga Pine students or the uh, uh, Japanese students uh, later on in their life? Well, we're having some more students come from Japan later this year, and I think our students are really excited to get to meet new students and continue this program in future years. All right, thank you. Their school is more academically based, so they really enjoyed getting into um, our cosmetology classes and our tech classes and phys ed and art, which was something very different for them. So I think that was a really neat experience that they had. So like how they got their nails done in the cosmetology class, how do you think that they like that? Because I saw, what I saw, they really enjoyed that. 
they loved it. Like the, and the girls had all their hair curled and they just thought it was really neat to um, have that opportunity to get in and have something different because they do not have cosmetology there. Yeah. Um, so you are the vice principal of the uh, school? Yes, yes I am. All right, so, so far how do you like this, uh, the culture and the social um, interactions whatnot of Canada? Oh, that was great, you know, uh, students are having great time and they enjoy the stay here in Otasaga High School very much. Yes. Um, I also saw or heard that uh, the other day the students went to uh, Niagara Falls. How do you think that went? That was spe spectacular, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing, you know. It's a huge fall, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, the students enjoyed it very much. Yeah. Yes. That's what I heard. They s one of them said that uh, going to Niagara Falls was just so much different than yes. what they're normally they're used to. Very different, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, have you ever done origami or anything like this before? Absolutely not. This is my first time. Oh, is that the one you made? Yes, it is. Yeah. Did you get any help from uh, some of the Japanese students here? Yes, uh, my Japanese student Takanori helped me try and build this awful crane. All right. Uh, who's uh, Takanori? Is he around here? He is. Behind you. He's right behind me, standing right there. Oh, nice. So, is there anything else you'd like to say about this sort of origami stuff like this? I think it's really cool, except for the fact that it's extremely difficult, and I think it takes a lot of practice to do. So, have you ever done origami or anything like this before? Nothing. Oh, really? How do you think of it? Um, it was a little bit difficult at first, but it's pretty fun. Yeah, did any of uh, the Japanese students here help you out? Yeah. Oh, yeah, a lot. <laughs> uh, it looks like you guys got some pretty good ones there, too, as well. Um, did you make anything? I made a little crane there. <laughs> uh, will we be doing this annually, or is this just sort of like a one-time thing, or are we doing it every couple years? This will be annually, so next fall again we will have a group of Japanese students who will come to us from the Onamichi School and will be here uh, again with host families within the community.